guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my hair care favorites. So these are my favorite products that I use on either my hair or my daughter's hair. And I do want to just quick mention that I'm not going to be sharing any shampoo or conditioner in today's video because I don't know if I'm just picky or if I have unrealistic, unrealistic expectations or what, but I have not found a shampoo and conditioner that I'm in love with. So right now we are using the Love Beauty and Planet uh, shampoo and conditioner in I think it's clean oceans. It's a really nice scent, but I don't know that it does anything spectacular to my hair. I I like it fine enough, and so that's what we're using. But I wouldn't say that it's you know necessarily my favorite. It smells really nice, but as for what it does, I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get into the products that I do really like that I think do work. So the first one is this Kristen S Hydrating Curl Defining Cream. I don't use this on my own hair because my curls are very much fake. Um, in fact, I did a video on how I curl my hair and I can link it below if you're interested. No, I use this on my daughter's hair. She has a nice little curl to hers and uh, it smells so, so nice. I wish that I could use it on my own hair, but I just use a teeny tiny bit when she hops out of the shower and I kind of work it from the ends up to her scalp and let it just kind of air dry and I kind of mess around with it while it's drying and we watch a TV show or something. And she really likes this as well. As soon as she's done bathing, she is looking for her hair lotion. So yeah, I love this. I wish I could use it on myself, but I do really like it in, on her hair as well. Oh, and I did also want to mention her hair is very, very fine. In fact, my dad is a barber and he even <laughs> remarks how fine of hair she has. So it doesn't weigh it down or anything like that. So awesome for those finer hairs. As for me, when I get out of the shower, I like to use this Living Proof Color Care Whipped Glaze for darker tones. I know that they do make one for lighter tones as well. I don't know how that works because I've always had dark hair, but um, yeah, I really like this. It is really nice for color treated hair. I uh, do have a little bit of root coming through here. I'm gonna be getting my hair dyed again sometime this month. I'll have to check on that. But anyway, uh, this really softens that line that you can sometimes get if you're dyeing your hair. And so I really, really like that. I have no idea how it works, but it does and it's amazing and I love it. And yeah, I, I don't know that I can say enough good things about it. So yeah, anyway, I really like that. But I haven't been using this quite as much because I don't know if it's stress or what. When I sleep, I am tossing and turning like crazy. I Maybe it's just the transition from 2020 to 2021. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot different yet. But um, anyway, I've been focusing a lot on leave-in conditioners and just conditioners in general. I've been using uh, hair masks a lot more. And I did have one that I thought about including in this video, but I'm still not 100% sure on it. So it's not in this video, but if I do really like it, then I'll include it in a future video. But anyway, conditioners have been a big thing for me. So I have been using this whatever, wherever leave-in conditioner. Looks like that. It smells really nice. It's kind of got a beachy, almost a sea salt scent to it, but it's not drying or anything. It just works really well. So after I get out of the shower, I'll spritz my hair all with this, and then I'll use a wide tooth comb to just make sure that all the tangles are out. And, um, most of the time, I just let my hair air dry. I don't know which is best, if it's better to blow dry your hair or air dry it. I've seen conflicting opinions on that, so I'm not really sure. Uh, I typically air dry just because I'm lazy, but I don't know which is best. So anyway, moving on. The next couple items that I wanted to share with you are ones that you probably knew were coming, but I'm going to share them anyway. The first is this Philip B Thermal Protection Spray. I have been in love with this recently, and I did end up purchasing a full size, but it's currently in the mail. So when that comes, this guy is going to be moving it to my travel bag that I can hopefully start using soon. I am really ready to get moving again. Um, but anyway, this is amazing. I love it. It protects your hair from heat, adds a lot of shine. I 
I think it works really well. And it has a really nice scent as well. It's kind of got a woodsy, almost cologne scent to it that is amazing. And I know I've talked about this a lot, but it really is. It's really good. This is one of those lines that I almost want to try the shampoo and conditioner from this line because of this one product. But I've looked at the shampoo and conditioner and it's crazy expensive. And I don't know if I can, I don't know that I can spend that much. So we'll see, maybe I'll change my mind, but it's it's been in my brain recently. So anyway, uh, the other th item that you probably knew was coming is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this is in the scent Sassy and Daring Wild. I have two bottles of this right now. The other one is in the scent Rose Gold, and I really like that one as well. It kind of, the Rose Gold one reminds me of an old department store, like if anyone remembers Dayton's. I loved that store, but anyway, loved that scent. And uh, yeah, I also like this one a lot. This is probably the one I've used most recently because it's got a much richer scent to it where the rose gold is kind of more flowery and floral. Uh, this one is more that kind of musky sort of scent. Yeah, I would say musk. And so it seems to work better in the winter for me, but that's totally my taste. And so yeah, this works really well. I use it a lot right after I've curled my hair to kind of just add a little bit more texture and it's been amazing. I've used this for years and years and years. You've probably gotten sick of me talking about it, but I don't know. I really like it. The last item that I wanted to share with you is not actually one that I've used in the past few months, but once I show it to you, you'll probably understand why. It just makes me so happy and I, I just had to include it in this video even if I'm not currently using it. So the product is this Herbivore Sea Mist Coconut Sea Salt Beach Wave Hair Mist. Isn't that pretty? It's a really nice, just very simplistic glass bottle. I really like this Herbivore brand. I had their um, Amethyst Scrub too and I loved that. It was so sad when I ran out of that, but I haven't repurchased it yet. Um, but yeah, the Herbivore products are just so, so pretty. This one in particular smells really, really nice. I really like it for just a texture spray. As for the Beach Wave part, I don't know that it does a whole lot with that. My hair does have a little bit of wave to it, but when I use this, I don't feel like that wave is accentuated or anything. So I'm not sure how well it works with the um, with actually creating waves, but it smells really nice. It adds a nice amount of texture. It smells like the whole experience of a beach. It just, I don't know. It's like sunscreen and sand and I don't know, a pina colada almost. It just smells so nice. It's like as soon as you scent, uh, smell it, it just transports you to like an island destination. I love it. So yeah, I just had to include it. I couldn't help myself. But anyway, those are my hair care favorites recently. Like I said, I do have a hair mask that might be included in a future video. I'm not 100% sure yet, so I wanna use it a couple more times, but it, it might be in the running. And if you have any shampoo or conditioner recommendations, please let me know I am on the hunt. And yeah, I need it all the help I can get. So I think that that's going to do it for today's video. I have a ton of decluttering to do after the holidays. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of work. I got to get done. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.